Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here with your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so some of you are the high priestess, all right? Uh, highly intuitive um, some of you are not sexually active right now. It's making you very desirable, almost unattainable to those who you know, are watching you, who are in your vicinity, who see you each and every day. There's a glow. There's something about you um, that people see. They can't quite put their finger on it, but it is there. Um, some of you are the chaste woman. You are you are keeping yourself. You are practicing abstinence. Um, some of you live alone and you're happy. You're the very wise person, uh, whether people tell you or, or not. Um, there's a lot of wisdom that rests with you. Um, a good, of course, intuition here. You're getting your messages directly from spirit. You are the conduit for messages to the earth, to the physical plane. So it, it seems as if you, the universe is using you. God, universe, spirit, trees, whatever you believe in, it's using you. You are the conduit to um, from spirituality, spiritual messages, the spiritual, the spiritual realm to the physical. It goes from spiritual realm to you to the physical. And you're giving it to the people. Um, people come to you with question. Uh, you care also. You care without getting involved. Everything petty is beneath you. That's what I heard. Woo. All right, Aquarius. So what does spirit want to tell the Aquarius? What does spirit want to tell the Aquarius? All right. You got some money coming towards you, Aquarius. Some of you have found a new, newfound wealth here. And um, you're trying to maintain it with the four of pentacles. So you're trying to maintain this wealth. Um... It's like you're penny pinching. I don't know, kind of closed off, being selfish. Do know that money is energy. Move the money around. Make sure you're putting it into the right things, maybe things that will grow, whether it is helping an individual, whether it is stocks, bonds, uh, mutual funds, uh, CDs, and so forth, um, investments. Uh, but make sure that your money is moving around, that it is uh, doing what it's supposed to do. It is energy. It is a uh, currency. It is, uh, you know, the, um, it is how we, uh, we conduct, we conduct business. It is how we, um, transfer or the, uh, the word escapes me right now. Um, the exchange, it is the exchange. It is how we exchange. Okay. Uh, that's what's going on for some of you. All right. So let's see. What else does spirit want to tell you, Aquarius? Come out of some of these stuck in old toxic ways too. You know that it's not growing, whatever it may be. It could be with family. It could be with a love partner. Wow. Two of wands and the, um, the will of fortune. So it looks like you're making some plans, Aquarius. Um, that are going to be very fortunate for you. The wheel is turning for you. Things that you've done uh, in the past, the recent past, is going to turn the wheel of fortune for you. You got active, busy in your life. Therefore, the universe is meeting you with the wheel of fortune, turning it in your favor, al favor, aligning things so that things work out well for you. That is all fortune is. Right place, right time, right person, uh, right frame of mind also. Um, this is also, this could be meeting a soulmate for some of you who are not focused on career finance business. Um, this could be right place, right time. Also the, the energy work in the wands, because we know the wands talk about, um, magic too. It talks about, um, yeah, spells. Maybe the, the energy work that you have done is turning the wheel for you. Ooh, all of these cards fell. All right. Hang on one second. Aquarius. A lot of you are focused on business, okay? Um, some of you were really focused on getting out of poverty, banishing poverty mindset, um, being impoverished in your mental, your physical, in your finances, all of that. All right, let's see what else is going on for the Aquarius. 
there's a change here, definite change for you. Balance of the King of Swords. So some of you are learning how to balance out uh, your thoughts, being logical, you understanding that there is, you still have emotions and you need to process them correctly, accurately. You're finding balance, the middle ground, temperance, uh, and being overly logical, overthinking things. You're really asking yourself, well, how do I feel about this? What are my feelings? You're really processing them. Some of you are going to expert, getting expertise about what it is you should do, how you should operate. Um, the temperance card doesn't always talk about reconciliation, but it does talk about coming to balance, coming into balance. Also, you, some of you are just getting your life in order. Like, you were just living, you were just existing, you were just going with, you were just, you know, kind of haphazardly just moving through, but now you're very intentional and determined. This is really good, Aquarius. In every way, finances, emotional, physical, you're determined. This is so good. Wow, the sun card. It says that the universe is shining on you, smiling, smiling on you because, um, Everything is in alignment with you. You know, good health, vitality, radiance, positivity, joy. Uh, all by your doing, the two of wands. You're seeing something accurately in the king of swords. Wow, the lovers coming out. For some of you, there could be a love relationship that has already transpired or one that will be significant. Hopefully, you will see the significance and the other person will see the significance of this relationship also. There could be a life-altering choice made here. Wow. The Knight of Swords, the higher fence. Somebody is determined to win you back, to get you back, to talk to you. They feel like you're a like-minded individual. There's no one like you. There's a uniqueness to you. They're listening to that inner voice. It says go forward. Um, that's what's going on with someone uh, external to you. Could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be. It could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Uh, it says that the universe is trying to bring two very different people together, okay? Um, interesting. What is this about? The Nine of Wands. So this is somebody that you poss possibly know, Aquarius. The universe is also saying don't give up before the miracle happens, Aquarius. Don't fall before you actually see the manifestation of, before the tough time is over. Don't fall into knowing, thinking that this is it for you. Uh, get up, Ace of Swords. Um, clear out all distractions, too. If you want newness, clear out distractions. The Ace of Swords talks about seeing something clearly because there are no distractions, right? Um, and this also could be a person that you're dealing with. They're seeing something clearly. They understand who you are, your value, your, your worth now, because there are no distractions. They have cleared the clutter in their life. They made some irrevocable change, um, or they're seeing the, the absolute truth. Wow. Of, of the matter, the seven of swords, maybe that they were deceptive, that they were deceiving themselves, sneaking around. Being a liar, deceptive, masquerading like they were something when they weren't. It was only hurting them. This was sabotage to them. No. Really having the mindset of wanting to go it alone was not a real thing. This is not what they really wanted. This also could be you too, Aquarius. See the deception that somebody is bringing towards you too. If, if they cannot commit, if there's no intimacy, vulnerability, closeness between you and someone else, it could be because they are being de deceptive, uh, actively deceiving you. Judgment. Somebody could want a second chance, but they're not serious about it. You got seven, 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 seven. You're on the right path. There is um, protection, luck, and mastery associated with whatever it is you're doing. You're now in a better position, Aquarius, and people are coming for you. Loved ones, romantic partners, family members, anybody and everybody who sees you. <laughs> Whoa. They want to knock you out the way, Aquarius. They want to knock you down. They want to knock you out. They might want to fight. 
It says fight for what you have in the seven of wands. So somebody wants to fight for you or they want to knock you a peg down. Um, they remember the old you. They want the old you. They don't like this new you. Okay. It bothers their soul. The Ten of wands. Yeah. Uh, someone took you for granted. They didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value. Uh, they look down on you. Uh, they they counted you out. They regret this heavily. Um, there could have been a lot of struggle in your life, and that's all they could see. They didn't see the hard work, the perseverance, the dedication, the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands says what you do in the Two of Wands will show up, hopefully, in the Four of Wands for you, and then you'll get to the Ten of Wands where, you know, this is collapse. Or this is burden under the weight of your own success. Can you imagine that, Aquarius? You're so successful that you are burdened by it. This is your phone ringing constantly for business. Um, this is uh, the job offer that comes in. It is so great. The workload is great, but the pay is even, it's equally great. Uh, this is a uh, prestige. This is public recognition. This is all of that, Aquarius, collapsing under the weight of your own success. And you started out here, Aquarius, with the two of wands. And now you're at a place of, I'm so successful. I am so tired. I'm tired, but it's a great tire. It's a good tire. Um, wow, Aquarius. You came from struggle and you made something out of it. Somebody also just took you for granted. The five of swords, they talk shit about you now. Uh, there's regret again. There's ulterior motive. Keep that in mind. If there are people coming back, resurfacing, there's somebody trying to run interference. Somebody's trying to mess with your ego. They're trying to pull you back to a place where you no longer reside. You should tell them, hey, I don't live there no more. <laughs> you know, um, this is, wow, the full card. There's something new that you're starting and luck is associated with it. Um, beginners love Aquarius. Act on it. Act fast in it and on it. Other people's money. Something about loans, taxes, inheritance, other people's money. I don't know if you're in the financial sector. If you do something with financial, financial services, then it seems as if it's going to be very fruitful for you. Hang in there because money is coming. Money's coming in. It's coming in and it's coming in and it's coming in because you're doing the work. The nine of pentacles, you're going to get to a place of where you don't have to do so much work. You can now rest, okay? Uh, the workload, the work ethic you showed in the eight of pentacles will assure you that you will never be broke again. That you will never suffer from po po poverty again because uh, just the work ethic that you showed. Uh, the nine of pentacles also says that um, you'll have more time to uh, focus on spirituality, uh, growth. Uh, thriving because you're not doing so much work to bring in money this is really good Aquarius uh, five of wands competition people will try to compete with you but there is no comparison there is no competition because the battery in your back is not powered by you you didn't put it there the divine did you're, you're divinely you know blessed orchestrated make sure that whatever it is you're going after Aquarius that it serves a purpose not just you not just, I want a big house, mansion, and cars just for me. It serves no purpose. Make sure that your money has purpose. Money without a purpose is materialism. That's for somebody. I don't know. Um, competition, something that's indirect. You've got a lot going on, Aquarius. You, you might be making money all different ways. Yeah. There's somebody who wants to come in and cause conflict in your life. It could be some man. He does have a sense of power with him because he knows how to use his words. Uh, the finesse king or the finesse queen. But this does say mas it says man, the magician, masculine energy. And my feminine energies out there, if you ever show up as the magician, you're acting and you're masculine. And that's okay because sometimes you have to use that. So um, the magician, um, this is somebody who there could have been a relationship with. But it wasn't realized, okay? So they never said, okay, I'm your boyfriend or I'm your fiance or we're together. You know, they just did a lot of acting, a lot of wordplay, okay? And they could be coming back and trying to do the same thing, Aquarius. Where are we in time? Um, let's get Aquarius some advice. 
in terms of moving forward. This is really good, Aquarius. You are the magician also. Um, you turned your sadness into greatness, okay? Um, you just started to manifest the, your life, um, make things come into uh, fruition for you. And it wasn't just a whole bunch of, you know, um, spells and hoopla, but it was actually action, movement, taking, making plans, taking action on those plans. Because you can't manifest anything but just laying in the bed and hoping and wishing. It doesn't work like that. So hopefully, we know we have a saying here at the the uh, channel, work gets rewarded. I know nobody wants to do that W word. We all hate it. But we have to do it, okay? So um, if, if, if we didn't have to do that and it was just so easy to quote unquote run around and manifest because this word is just getting thrown around too frequently uh too too haphazardly um in order to manifest anything you have to have an element of work behind it force over a certain amount of time to actually see it come into fruition um to see it manifest okay and if we take out the work component then what the spiritual community myself and other tarot card readers astrologers whomever you listen to if we take out the work component then it is no better than years ago when there was a big boom in terms of um, prosperity gospel you can do nothing and get a whole lot of something you know it is no better than that and we don't want to have people come into the spiritual community just feeling like you know if i get a whole bunch of stones and crystals and some oil then, uh, you know, I'll be expecting a million dollars within a month uh, or less. It doesn't work like that operative word work. So make sure that whatever it is you're trying to do, you have a surefire plan. And then you ask, the, well, you ask the universe to get behind you to help you with that plan. And that's how that goes. That's how you manifest. Okay. Um, and do know that you're a co-creator in your life. So spirit is not going to come down out of the heavenlies, take you by the hand, take you to the courthouse, help you fill out that business license, get the application. No, it doesn't work like that. You take action. The universe gets behind you. If you do nothing, right, then the universe is behind what? Nothing. So make sure you're doing something, all right? I just want to tell some people that because, I don't know, this whole manifestation thing is just growing rampant and it's it's um you know it's getting more and more like this whole prosperity gospel thing used to be um do know that we, we've got to do our work guys four of cups there has been rejection okay you may have rejected this person this person feels rejected here um You took your mind off of love here and you started to focus on um, business, the business of you, whatever that may be. You could have a job, you could have your own business, I don't know. Um, and things are happening rather quickly for you. Lots of doors are opening, options here. Options to come out of poverty. Some of you could be receiving a large sum of money. This is going to have you sitting pretty, very nice. You could be like some spiritual guru. Things are going to go. You, if you're waiting for judgment, it looks like it's going to go in your favor. Talks about winter, the winter months. So, you know, maybe you'll get judgment here in winter. Um, a large sum of money. It'll have you sitting very nice. You'll be able to afford whatever luxury is to you. Whatever you define that to be, you'll be able to afford it. Uh, the king of wands here bigger picture larger scope entrepreneurship expansion um delegating delegation also some of you could be walking into maybe a managerial supervisory type of position if you work a job something's happening quickly for you with the two wands here so this is really good aquarius let me leave you with a angel answers and get on out of here all right Get your own personal reading. If you feel like there's a question you want answered in your life, should I start this business? Am I doing enough work? You know, why is this not working for me? Um, go over to the website. This is tis, 
tis the season to book a reading. There's so many uh, specials going on. Go to the website, book a reading. Uh, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask questions and come for the collective reading. All right, so let's see. Remain positive, Aquarius. Remain positive, because even when it looks like it's not happening for you, it's definitely happening, Aquarius. Whatever this is, oh, I can't make it up. No need to worry, because it's happening. The situation will improve, and there's so much opportunity for you, Aquarius. Focus on compromise in terms of romance, and communicate clearly what it is you want. You do have a, a yes answer here, with the exclamation point, so that means it's definite, okay? So you got some romance coming in, but focus on compromise. Uh, communicate clearly what it is you want. Aquarius, many blessings to you. All links are below. Get your own personal reading. Uh, if you took something from the reading, whatever it may be, a tidbit, you could give back. You could buy me a coffee. You could click the link below. It says buy Elle a coffee. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.